of the inner sanctum. This is your host to welcome you once again through that creaking door. Come in. Come in. We have a full quiver of shivers. Oh, you say it's rather cold in here. Well, why don't you huddle together? There's so much comfort in having someone else beside you instead of being besides yourself. <laughs> And now for tonight's Inner Sanctum Mystery. Face of the Dead. An original screenplay by John Robert. Starring Everett Sloan with Harry Belliver. with us. Yeah. You're a widow now. Hurry. Hurry. Nick, how about it? Who did it? You're gonna be the laugh of the year. Nick Ramsey killed by some punk he protects with his dying breath. Come on, talk. Vince Madero. He shot me. He won't have any face. Wait till Gladys sees him. Wait till I always believed in the code of the underworld. Lips sealed, die with your mouth shut. Jealousy. Nick had a beautiful wife. Now Vince Madero has it. That's why Nick hung on long enough to finger Vince as his killer. It's another alarm for Vince Madero. Mm. Check all the hospitals and doctors. Madero must be half dead from the beating he took, face bashed in. Madero. The late Nick Ramsey's own trusted lieutenant. And for him, the morgue wagon instead of the ambulance. Right. Obituary to a big shot. Nick Ramsey, gambler, killer, mad dog, corpse. The short, happy life. A picture for posterity. you do your laundry in here? Moody back? No. I can't think what's keeping him. 
How's Ben? Sleeping. I've got him doped up. Think I'll go out and get some air. Stay put, Doc. How are his looks? Coming. He'll have a new face when I'm through. What do you mean, new? You saw how he came in? Yeah. Three nights ago. I've had three nightmares since. Plastic surgeon, huh? Does that mean you were once a regular doc, too? Yes, once. How'd you lose your license? She looks just like you, Gladys. Beautiful on the outside, but no heart. And greedy. Naked with greed. One night, I put my hands around her throat. You did a stretch for it. You were gone three hours. I thought you ran into a cop. Use yards, back fences. Stayed off the streets. Where's Doc? Drugs you ordered. Penicillin? Anesthesia, everything that was on your list, Doc. You were able to buy? I didn't buy. Gladys. Eat. Enough for two days. You're not going to stretch it longer than two days? Vince will be able to leave here in two more days. Of course, he'll wear bandages. So he'll wear bandages. Look, Doc, the heat's on. Cops are hunting in packs. How's the house searching? We're dead. Get back in there with Vince. Don't make me think you're stalling. Three days, I haven't slept a wink. Who has? If I stay in these clothes another night, they'll rot. Vince's new face, Doc. Clark Gables. Copy from that, huh? Let's go, Gladys. feet again. That's the big thing. The money? In here, Vince. Every penny we could get our hands on. Why, well, Nick had enough money to fill a trunk. In safety vaults. Out of our reach. But there's plenty in here. Wait till you see it. Hey, Vince. Be happy you're alive. Are you happy? Yeah. And how. Get my coat. Moody, you made plans. What? We drive to Frisco. All the back roads, nights, days we park. We get to Frisco, got a hideaway all staked out right off of the docks. I made arrangements. Then what? Pacific freighter to the islands. That's in about two weeks. Why two weeks? So the heat will simmer down. There's an eight-state alarm out. And to catch a certain boat. Hank Barley, a skipper that we can trust. Besides, you'll need a few weeks to peel those bandages and feel like somebody. Yeah. I can't go aboard looking like a mummy. Moody. You stuck by me. I had less use for Nick Ramsey than you did. Yeah, that's right. What about big ears in there? We're not gonna go worrying about him. Take care of it. Everything? Everything. Where's Moody? Oh, Vince, no. We got to. Leave the dock and he's right away on the phone selling information. The operation on me, the new face I'm wearing, our getaway plans. One more murder. So what? They can only burn me once. Vince. 
What's with you? Cold like that, I can't do it. Get over there with Gladys. Moody can't, but you can. I brought you from death's door. I gave you a face. Sorry, Doc. I got plans for myself. A girl, dough, and places to go. I'll do nothing against you. Your secret will be safe. I want it safer than that. All right. Go ahead, then. Shoot me down. I've been expecting this ever since you came here. The new big shot, trying to fill Ramsey's shoes. The last laugh will be mine, Madero. Mine. I've seen to it. I've seen to it. The last laugh on you, Vince. What do you mean? I wouldn't know. Let's go. Vince, how is he? In the dumps. Keeps locked in his room. Very unsociable. Don't ask me why. So his bandages. He's got to peel them. He's afraid to. He stays awake nights wondering how he'll look with a new face. He's healed. Peel those bandages and he'll be himself. You. What brought you out of hibernation? Get the scissors. Don't tell me. I'm going to peel off these bandages. Wait, I've got some right here. You know how? Now, what trick is there? Wait. Hey, Vince, don't be a baby. Answer me this. Suppose I take the bandages off. I'm funny. I look funny. Then what? Is that what's worrying you? Driving me crazy. Vince, you never were a prize when I fell for you. Not in the profile department, I mean. Now, does that make you feel better? I don't know. Look, I was married to him. And on my wedding day, I thought I was in love with him. Now, he's got a face that would haunt houses. I didn't fall in love with that face. Look at it. Now can I begin cutting? Yeah. Go ahead. On you, Doc Vincent, promised. You are dead. He he made me resemble Nick Ramsey. Resemble? You're like two peas in a pod. Doc Vincent gave you Nick's face. He gave you Nick's face. <laughs> Shut up about this to Moody. You tell Moody I'll wring your neck. Moody must know. Not for a while, anyway. Moody's not blind. He's got eyes. I'll keep out of his way. When he's here, I'm, I'm in my room for a few days, till I can think. Why are you so worried about Moody seeing him? Why? Because I'm in no mood right now to be laughed at. That's why.
Stop, Benson. You dirty double crosser. <laughs> the mechanical man with ice in his veins. You're stir crazy, Gladys. You'll be out of this in a day or so. Look, I'm going out. Would you like anything from the outside? Yeah. Hope. That's what I want. Buy me some of that. You really are stir crazy. One arm missing and dead down to his toes. I'm sorry, Moody. That was cheap of me. Trying to make you look ridiculous. You're dying to know about this, aren't you? Well, I'll tell you. I used to work for Nick Ramsey. About the time you two got married. Ran a dice game in one of his establishments. Nick caught me stealing. Who doesn't steal? Lousy hundred bucks. Lousy hundred bucks, huh? Cost you your arm. Nick stood me up against the wall. Shoot my arm off, he said. He did. When he was through... Vince killed Nick. Vince had the nerve to do what I couldn't do. You could be the Queen of Sheba, and I'd never do anything against Vince. Where's Mui? Out. Shopping for groceries. I'm asking for a little warmth. Don't make me beg for it. Nick, stop it. Nick, I'm Vince. Yeah. I keep calling you Nick. This face on me. I could tear it off. Tear it off. Go ahead. It bothers you that much? It's a face I learned to hate. But there's an out. It isn't forever. What's the out? In the islands, when we get there, I'll find a surgeon. I'll get a new face. I'll throw this one in the garbage can. Vince, do it now, here in Frisco, before we get on that boat. I can't go through that again so soon. I'm too beat. Besides, staying here in Frisco is asking for a rest. I killed Nick for me. But I killed him for you, too. I fell for you. Could have been any doll. But you sold me a story. You sold me a promise. And now you've got to pay off. Nick, you're hurting me. I... I keep getting you confused with Nick. <laughs> you hit me. Just like Nick. You're Nick. I never got rid of him. I'm still with him. We're getting on that boat Friday, you and me. We got places to go, money to spend. You and me, huh? Where's Moody in the picture? Mind your own business about Moody. We're worrying about too many guys. I'm gonna eat in my room. Stuff you ordered, hairnet and nail polish. Almost ran into a cop buying them. Look, the boat's set. Get on board 5 a.m. Before daybreak. You better get some sleep. Sleep? You look like the bent's in the shakes. What's the matter? He hit me. He hit me just like Nick used to do. I'm back with Nick, Moody. I never got rid of him. I never got rid of him. Gladys, you're blowing your top. He'll beat me all the way across the Pacific. I, I haven't changed a thing. I'm right back in the soup, Moody. Women. Never could figure him out. Screwy. Now you tell Vince to be ready 5 a.m. sharp. Tell him yourself. 
He's in his room. Go ahead. I don't want to bust in on him. What a man movie. Always respectful. Idiot. Always in your place like a dog. Stand against a wall and lose your arm. Not a peep and not a complaint. That was Nick done that. We was talking about Vince. There is no Vince. There's only Nick. Nick's dead. Nick's in that room. Go in there and see. I dare you to walk in there. I dare you to be enough of a man to walk in Nick's room. Was it Nick? It was like seeing a ghost. Doc Benson did that to him. He's Nick now. Through and through. Quick with his hands and king of the double cross. He pushes everybody around and everybody's dirt. I'm back with him and so are you. What do you mean, so am I? He's had the bandages off his face two days now. Have you seen him once? No, he's kept to his room. Yeah. Figuring out how you'll never get to see him. But we're all getting on that boat in the morning. What are you working for? Vince wants you to see his new face just once before you close your eyes. You're a liar about Vince. He's Nick now. He thinks like Nick. He even has hands like Nick. You stood against a wall and lost your arm comes tomorrow, you'll lose your life. It could be that. Or it could be me. You and me, Moody. A fortune in cash and Nick dead. Dead for keeps. And neither one of us haunted. That is, if you're a man, Moody. You made that deal once, Gladys. How many times do you expect to make the same deal? Sorry, Gladys. I never was one for women or for the double cross. Where's Moody? In his room, dressing. Is in your gun. I emptied it. You emptied my gun? Thanks, Gladys. For my life. No good, Moody. You turned me down flatly. Remember? I emptied yours, too. You had a busy night. Murder. I couldn't stand another one. Or a future with you. I couldn't stand that either. You're crazy. Sure. Crazy and lost. Really lost. I took a walk before, in the night. Didn't get a wink of sleep. I'm so tired I could fall dead. You took a walk? Lost, I said. So lost I needed help. To find my way back. The man was kind enough to help me. You let a man pick you up? An old friend. An old friend of my dead husband's. He's here now. Crane! Over there. Drop the gun on the couch. I wouldn't mind shooting either of you. She invited me to come see the face of the dead. See Nick Ramsey. I owe Gladys an apology for thinking you're insane. I am seeing the face of the dead. And to close that creaking door until the next time. Remember, 
Never cut your nose to spite your face. Be thorough. Cut your throat. Good night. Pleasant dreams.